everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today from our friends at Crafters Companion, I have the Gemini Elements cutting dies, and these are swing card cutting dies. They are so awesome, you guys. I've got heart, circle, and hexagon. I can't wait to show you what I did with these, so come back and play with us. So this hexagon die is just adorable, as I showed you before, this card, so cute. Before we get into the die, I wanted to show you what I used to decorate this card. The card base I actually made out of six by six romantic florals. It's patterned cardstock, so it holds up really nicely for the card base. And then for the little green mat there, I use Romantic Florals Coordinating cardstock. And then for my flowers, how cute. These are Rustic Blooms um, Cranberry Flowers. And I love these collections. We have them in several different colors, and just the right amount of flowers. So this die, this is the main die, right? Come on, there we go. The main die to make the base right here. And then you get three more dies for mats. There we go, come on. Boy, that adhesive is really working. Um, and this one I especially like, it's got these little dash lines in there, so it's almost like got a little stitched look in there. It's so cute. So let's show you how it works. So you're going to need, and it shows you on the back, on the back of the package, it shows you the dimensions that you're gonna need step by step, it's very simple. And um, you're going to start off with a, good look, a five by five, five and a half by six inch piece of cardstock. And then you're gonna take <clears throat> a ruler and you're going to use your ruler, I've got the right side here, to measure two inches from the left side of your cardstock. And I've put a little mark, pencil mark there. And then also measure the bottom because you really want this to line up well another little pencil mark there. And then you're going to take your die and on the left edge, you're going to align that with that little pencil mark. Okay, and then um, I would recommend using a low tack tape. This one we carry by Hunky Dory, but you could also use washi tape and things like that. I always like to take some of the tack off the low tack tape because um, sometimes when it's right off the roll, it's, it's a little tackier than, than low tack. And don't you hate it when you pull this stuff up and then even if it's low tack, sometimes it does take a little bit of your card, a um, little bit of paper off the front of the card. And I, ooh, it drives me crazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tack that down. And then you're just gonna run that through your machine, your die cutting machine, okay? So now I'm gonna switch colors here. Um, but now we've got this Print in here. Let me grab this back. So this is where this is. There we go. <laughs> this is where I okay, had a two inch mark right there. And you've got a line here, score lines right here. The hexagon part has been cut away. All right, so then what you're going to do is you're going to fold right here. And I recommend like bone folders, nice to have. And you're just gonna go ahead and do that. And then you're gonna fold the other direction. You just need to make sure that your little inner piece is, is going in the right direction so you don't actually fold that. All right. And then, just like this, make sure that's folded. And there you go, that's it, that's your swing card. And then you get to decorate it with those little uh, matted pieces right here. And then inside right here, added those little flowers. And all these little greetings right here are from the Romantic Florals, had these little perfectly sized greetings. And I will give you a tip that when you're running this through your die cutting machine, you guys, it's really important not to add extra shims um, and maybe don't use a metal cutting plate with it because I noticed these cut beautifully. But because you've got your fold lines right here, those score lines, um, you don't want to put too much pressure on them or these will cut all the way through and then you just got pieces here. So just put it through your machine using your, your plates that come with machine and don't add any extra material to shim that. Otherwise you're just gonna, it just cuts too well. So that was my little tip there. All right, so we have another one. Okay, this is the heart shapes. 
okay and this one has the same number four pieces okay and for this card that's sweet and I used our new collection of poppies I think the six by six pattern cardstock is just perfect for these I should mention <laughs> definitely that when folded like this it's four by six so it will fit into uh, blank envelopes that we sell for our five by seven cards just great and I'll um, put the link to those envelopes down below here if you're watching us on paper wishes on our webisode page look below the video You'll see a great money saver right over there on the right hand side, but then also below the video we have all the products that we used for these and you can add them to your cart. And if you're watching us on YouTube, just look below the video for the link and that will take you to this Paper Wishes webisode page. So for this one, I added a little bit of a mat here. So I die cut my card base using the Poppies cardstock. Okay, the 12 by 12 solid cardstock. And then I die cut them again, the images again, from this poppies. And then I just cut them down a little bit. So I just cut a little bit off of each right and left edge. And then I cut a little bit off the top and the bottom. And then I just glued it right over the other. So that was an easy way to map that. And then this one, I die cut this whole piece here from this poppy's paper and then I just glued it right on. So that was really easy. And then I added some Dazzle stickers and these are pearl and pastel fancy border Dazzle stickers. And I used this really nice peach one along the top and the bottom. Very cute, I loved doing this card. And this is what it looks like when it's just cut out of the cardstock. All right. So the last one is the circle. So here we have circle pieces, same number of pieces, four pieces right here. And then this is what it looks like when it's cut from the five and a half by six cardstock. So remember, you're gonna fold it this way. Oops, I have a dazzle sticker stuck there. And then you're gonna fold it this way. And then when you get to that point, just go ahead and use your bone folder there and you're all set. All right, and so for this one, I used some glitter cardstock for this one, you guys. Super, super sparkly and fun. And I used some of our new Dazzle stickers that you can embellish with jewel Dazzles. So let me show you the cardstock. The first one, I'm using this is this wonderful it's uh, purple lavender and it's from hunky dory and it comes it's the diamond sparkles it's like shimmer cardstock and it comes in a pack of 10 and then I also used the silver and I believe this one comes in a pack of four okay and then these wonderful little butterfly jewel uh, dazzle stickers that are in that you can well they're dazzle stickers that you can embellish with jewel dazzles and here's one right here and what i like to do is take we have so many different colors of jewel dazzles if you're not familiar with those they're just little circles in three different sizes and i like to use a little jewel pick um to they're double-sided i've got some here that i've already used I've got a large end I've got one stuck on me and then a small end i like to use the small end for the tiniest ones. And you just place it right here. Maybe you can zoom in a little. And we place it right here and you kind of just stir it around and then it lifts up. And then you just find the little coordinating size circle on here and you just place that. And sometimes you just use your little fingernail. And then for the larger ones like this, same thing, you're just gonna stir it, lift it and place it just like that. And then you can take like a smaller one and then place it on top of the larger one and just kind of layer them like that. Anyway, they're really fun to decorate and they just add another little element to your cards. The greeting on this one, the Get Well, is from the Pearl and Pastels We're Together Stazzle stickers. I use this one so much because it's got Missing You and Get Well and Love You and Friend. 
and I usually find one uh, that fits the color and the direction. Now, some are very horizontal, and some are very, like, a little more usable for vertical cards. Um, just really fun. So, you guys, we've got a fantastic collection. These are so easy to make, and I think they just add a little element of, like, wow, when you're sending your cards. So, definitely check out that Money Saver. It's right over there. And um, if you're watching us on YouTube, just look in the description box below the video and subscribe. We do three to five videos a week, you guys. You don't want to miss any of those. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.